Hey Pokemon fans, it's Joystick News here and today we're diving into a fan theory that might just turn your view of the Pokemon world upside down. Ever thought about why there is so many children and so few adults in Pokemon? Well, strap in because you're exploring the theory that the Pokemon world has been through a devastating war. This intriguing theory starts with the keen observation. In the Pokemon world, our heroes are mostly children and teenagers embarking on a grand adventure with their Pokemon companion. But have you ever stopped to wonder about the adults in this world? There is not a noticeable of adult smell, particularly father. Why is this the case? This peculiar setup has led fans to many theories. Could it be that the Pokemon world as we know it actually recovering from the aftermath of a war? A war that might have reshaped its society and the role of its people. To understand this theory, let's examine the clues in band with the game. First, consider the unusual high number of hospitals and Pokemon gyms scattered across relatively small towns and regions. Isn't peculiar for such a peaceful place to have such extensive medical and training facilities? Then there is the intriguing statement from LT Surge, the electric type of gym leader, who famously says, Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. This line isn't just throwaway dialogue, it's a crucial hint. It suggests a history of conflict that has deeply affected the Pokemon world, hitting at the fast that's more turbulent than the game cheerful Venus suggests. Imagine the Pokemon world not just a place of adventure, but also as a land healing from the ravages of war. This series suggests that the widespread Pokemon battle and training aren't just a support. They're part of a large effort to rebuild the community and provide a sense of purpose and unity in a recovering world. Consider the role of Gym Leader and the Pokemon League in this context. They could be seen as institutions that emerge to bring people together to foster strength and resilience in a post-conflict society. This darker interpretation banned the Pokemon universe in a new light, adding a layer of depth and complexity to the narrative. It transformed our understanding of the game from a simple adventure to a tale of survival, recovery, and hope. So, what's your take on this Pokemon War theory? Does it offer a compelling new perspective on a world we thought we know, or is it just a creative twist on a classic tale? How does this change your view of the trainer's journey and their interaction with Pokemon? I'd love to hear your thoughts and interpretation in the comments below. And if this theory has captivated your imagination, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more thoughts provoking dives into the lore of our favorite games. Until next time, keep your minds open and your Pokeball ready.